Greetings, Reginald Blackman. Ah, Jesus! Sky Larson is in the sitting room. Your fucking house knows my name? Whoa! Cool hologram! <gasps> is this about the Death Star plans? I need you to pay attention, Mr. Blackman. It's Wrench. I know you have the broker bridge. Uh, moi? <laughs> okay, no, you're right. I am holding on to it. But just for safekeeping, Scout's honor. Hmm. Because of your recent spat, Thomas Rempart has decided that if he can't have the broker bridge, he'll go right to the direct source. He's taken my deep labs hostage. I need you to clear out his forces and give me control of my labs back. Okay, I'm not even gonna get into how creepy it is that you know all this shit, but you said you could help Aiden? If you secure my labs, I'll help you revive Aiden Pierce from his coma. How? Do you know what the deep labs were built for? Why they're kept a secret. Bring the broker bridge to the labs, and I'll show you what it can really do. One, don't be mad that the love of your life was flirting with me. And two, you get the feeling we're jumping into a shitstorm here? Yeah, but this is what we gotta do to help Aiden. Why are you still risking your neck to help him, even though he's done bad by you? Because everybody deserves a chance to set things right, even after they fuck up. Like, I'm sure no matter how mad he is at you, your buddy in San Francisco wants you to call him back. Whoa, what? Hey, did you read my diary? No. Dude, you play those voicemails from Marcus all the time, on speaker. Just call him back. Trust me. Oh, okay. Uh, shut up! Sky said we needed to bring the broker bridge. She must not know you blew it up. What do we do? <laughs> yeah, about that. Get ready for me to blow your mind. Wait, is that the broker bridge? The other one was a fake? Fake broker bridge, real bomb. I stashed this one where no one could ever find it. In the Postal Service. Been in limbo circuiting the city this whole time. Nice. All right, let's get it to Broke Attack. Definitely gone through a rebranding. Rempart's got his goons all over the place. You'll have to get through them to find a way inside. Don't worry. I'm wearing my ass-kicking pants today. Activated. Someone shoot! Get out of the way! 
have been disabled. Rempart's locked the whole level down. Don't worry, I know another way in. And it's a job for Lady Smash. Adventure here's done for, Tommy. Your company's toast, and you've got nothing. I made sure of it. Oh, I got exactly what I came here for. And your reckoning is coming. But for now, I can be patient. Next time I see you, I'm gonna peel the skin off your face. Slowly. Well, ladies and gentlemen, and all other fine folk, with that, Monsieur Rempart has left the building. Excellent. Aiden Pierce is being transported here as we speak. You will need to reactivate the command system so I have access.
second. Then we can begin. Come on, big guy. Gentlemen, shall we begin? You have the broker bridge. The system requires two users. The pilot who uses the broker bridge and the subject who is connected to the reader. This will allow you to interface with Aiden's mind. It will scan his brain and create a visual projection that you can engage with. And that's how I'll be able to revive him? Well, the hope is that you'll be able to communicate with him and perhaps identify or repair any damage. How long does this usually take? I'm eager to find out. What, wait, wait, what, you, you mean you've never done this before? This is the first human trial. The most exciting phase of a project. God damn it, you fucking lied to us! You never cared about taking the out of your labs. You just want us here to be your fucking guinea pigs. Semantics. Jackson, this is insane. Hey, there is no guarantee this is gonna wake up Aiden. I, I, I say we, we grab him, we, we get the fuck out of here, and we'll find a better way. There isn't a better way. I have to do it. You could wind up in a coma too, or worse. Everyone deserves a chance. Oh my God, that sounds so incredibly profound. What the fuck does that even mean? It means I'm going in. For Aiden. Whoa. Where am I? Does this mean I'm inside Aiden's mind? Hey, this looks just like my old house. Actually, I think it is my old house. Where I grew up. Huh. Can't go in this way. Hello? Is anybody home? Maybe I can get in through the backyard. Aiden, hey! Aiden, honestly, I didn't think it would be this easy to find you. Let's get out of here. Get out of here? Yeah. Exit the simulation or whatever this technically is. Is that door the way out? I can't say anything else like it, so I think it's our best bet. I'm working. On what? I need to bury something. I lost a couple things in the house, my hat and my coat. I won't be ready without them. Ready for what? Can you get that for me? Aiden, you're hurt, and I'm trying to help you wake up. You want to be helpful? Go get my phone. At least this door's unlocked. It's way too clean in here. That kitchen was always a mess. We spent all our time in there. And I definitely put a crack in that cupboard door with a baseball. <laughs> Lena always made my head look twice the size of my body. That picture, is that me? Wow, I haven't thought of this place in a long time. Mom sold it years ago. Aiden's captured it like a time capsule. I spend so much time here rewriting words just trying to learn how to spell. Not that it helped. Phone's got to be in here. Gotcha. All right, who's been calling Aiden? Nikki. Mom. Jesus, Aiden, you were supposed to be here hours ago. I can't keep making excuses for you, and honestly, 
Jax is smart enough not to buy any of them. If you were going to disappoint him, couldn't you have just said you were coming from the start instead of getting his hopes up? Whatever. Just... I took him home. We left. Here's your phone. Who was calling? Uh, Mom, actually. She didn't sound happy. Yeah, I don't blame her. Are you ready to leave with me now? I still need my hat and my coat. Aiden, I don't know how else to say this, but you got hurt, and you're in a coma right now. You need to wake up. I left them somewhere in this house. Can't remember why. You have to look around. Why won't you come with me? I told you, I've got to bury something. I'm not going anywhere until that's done. If I get you those things, will you leave with me? Yeah, sure. If you say so. Wait, what the hell? Is this still the house? <laughs> Lena? There's no way. Lena, my sister died when I was little. Is this some kind of sick joke? Jax, come on, you're it. Count to ten and come find me. Is Aiden's mind doing this? He can't let this go, so she just haunts him?
Just find Lena, Jax. You can do that. Lena, this isn't funny. I don't... I don't like this. Jax, please. I found a good place to hide. Can we please stop? I don't want to play this game. This was the worst day of my life, and it seemed to last for a year. I know. It, um... It took me a long time to get over it, too. I'm not over it, and I don't want to be. She was my baby girl. You don't get over losing a piece of yourself like that. No, but maybe we can find a better way to remember her. This was all Aiden's fault. They were trying to kill him, but he wasn't the one who paid the ultimate price. I know you don't think that way anymore. We found a way to heal. But I guess Aiden hasn't. I found Aiden's cap. Got your cap, and you're leaving with me right now. Still need my coat. Fuck your coat. Fuck this. This literal mind game. You know what I saw in there, right? Is Lena just in there all the time? We need to get the fuck out of here, so let's go. I told you I need to finish this first. And what is this exactly? A grave? Your grave? You know, Mom and I had to find a way to live with what happened. But you've just been torturing yourself with it this whole time. I didn't come here so we could just lose you all over again. Jax. You have helped me so much more than you know. This is the way I'm leaving. And I can't do it without you. Aiden, please. I know you won't let me down.
Where is this going to lead now? It looks like I'm going back to the house, but... Jesus, why is there all this blood? Whose blood is this? I can't get through here. I need to get up there. into. Okay, I need to find Aiden's code. Just focus on that. crime scene. What the fuck happened in here? Dead. Who? 
Is the killer still in here somewhere? Oh shit, shit, shit. Aiden, stop! What are you doing here? Who are all these people? Did you do all this? What? He can't hear me. It's almost like he's frozen or... Stuck. Stuck doing the same thing over and over again. With all this blood on his hands. Hayden's trapped. I need to find a way to interrupt this. something from you and it's not this guy dead I need your coat help me I'm back this better work your coat. Thanks. I didn't want to be buried in my skibbies, you know. Just for the occasion, as it were. So that's it? You're just giving up? I was Aiden Pierce. The Fox. For a long time. I had blood on my hands. Souls on my conscience that I can't ever set right. I'm tired. I'm ready to lay it all to rest. The only thing you know how to do is sacrifice yourself. But mom doesn't need you to protect her anymore. I don't need you to protect me anymore. We just want you to be there. I've caused enough damage and hardship in my life, Jackson. This is a funeral. There's no getting around that. Yeah? So say goodbye to the Fox. Goodbye to Aiden Pierce the Vigilante. Bury that guy. But don't tell me that's all you are. Because you're my uncle, too. Aiden. Jackson. Where am I? Holy shit! You did it! <laughs> Very impressive. Some of the readings on the broker bridge were wholly unexpected. I don't know whether to punch you or kiss you on your stupid hologram mouth. Both? Jesus. How did I miss? Jackson. Your participation here today has awarded you an extension on the Larson Family Scholarship for another two years. Well done. But, as our business is concluded here today, gentlemen, I suggest you wrap things up and take your leave. Both. Definitely both.
what a beautiful reunion. Gosh, I'm tearing up over here. You can't tell though, because of the mask. I feel like that angel from that movie. Now that I've brought Mr. Pierce and Mr. Pierce back together, I can go get my wings. Thanks for all your help, Wrench. No need to thank me. Just promise me your firstborn. And now, I'm off. Wait, where are you going? I'm glad you got Aiden back. Now I've got my own thing to settle. Going after Rempart? Listen, man. I just went into the mind of a guy who had trouble letting shit go. It wasn't fun. Maybe you should just walk away from this. I really can't. Okay. Well, then we'll help you. Whatever you need to do, let's do it together. We've got you. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Wrench, we're set up back at your hideout. So, where do you think Rampart might be? Rampart's burned down his bridges with his business partners in London. So I think he'll try to start fresh somewhere else. Does he have a private jet? I can't picture him strolling through Heathrow. Rampart's got a private barge docked in the Thames. On the books, moves company cargo. On the books, he smuggles in people, contraband, you name it. Jordy used him once or twice. Um... Is your friend Jordy a sociopath? Yeah, probably. He's so scary, but also sexy. <laughs> anyway, uh, so that barge is Rampart's best bet to get out of the city discreetly. I need to catch up with him. All units, I repeat, all units. We have reports of a hostile in your area. Over. Message received. Rampart's barge just got clearance to exit the Thames. He's hit open waters. Fuck. How am I going to catch up to him now? Swim? I think I know someone who can help you out. There was a boat captain that helped me smuggle into the city. Let him know you're coming. Oh, phew. I mean, hey, I look great in the Speedo, but I can't actually swim that fast. My legs are too skinny. Just tell me. What are you going to do to him when you catch up to him? Kill him? Yeah. Duh. Obviously. Is that what you really want, Reggie? Rampart's a scumbag. But you've worked with him. You have a history with him. Even if it's justified, killing him won't settle things the way you want it to. You want to lecture me about that? Really? This is why you're running support, Pierce Senior. No backseat revenging! Like a seafaring scallywag. Are, are you Aiden's ship captain? Aiden? We? Oui. You say you need a boat? Yes, please. I uh, need a boat to get onto a bigger boat. And you are his uh, family? Uh, well, not ex not exactly. But I do kind of look up to Aiden, like he's my grumpy uncle. So you know, we're still equals. But he's more like my second cousin, brother, uncle, father figure. Ah. Still compliqué. Bon, let's go. 